Well, you two, we're back at it for this silly Jeep. Um, but you know what? We're going to have it right this time. As you can see, we got the pan underneath there. We're draining the radiator. Turns out that little leak that I thought wasn't coming from the weep hole is coming from the weep hole. So we've got to do a water pump on this. So I guess we'll uh, go ahead and get after it. No. So far, I guess I thought that living in town would be pretty bad. You know, I thought for sure, you know, that I'd just hate it here. And I just couldn't wait to get out. But, you know, actually, thus far, I really haven't, you know, it hasn't bothered me too much. You know, we're kind of close to everything. Which, I mean, never was a huge deal for us, because Kayla and I would stock up. You know, Kay was cooking more, and I'm getting to work in the garage more. I've worked more. Huh. You know, if I'd have had to do this, work on this thing, it uh, before with the old shop, I'd have been, I wouldn't even be half as far as I am now. And I've actually done quite a bit to it. You know, I've spent several hours. But kind of funny how that works. You know, I miss, I do miss being out there. I miss, miss the cattle. Suck fierce. And, you know, I wonder how all that stuff's going. And, and because of, this situation being what it is, I, I really can't call and just BS, you know, it's just not a, it's just not in the cards, which, which sucks, but, uh, you know, I guess it is what it is, and, you know, the neighbors are really nice, the neighbors have stopped over here a couple times so far and introduced themselves, and, you know, it's pretty decent that way, we're in a really good neighborhood, especially for what I do, or what my particular hobbies are, I guess, would be perhaps the proper terminology there. You know, I took some advice from a guy that moved into town here. Well, an older guy, a friend of mine, that moved into town, you know, after living out of town his whole entire life. And he said, you know, just follow your basic rules. He says, keep it down after 9 o'clock. And, and, uh, you know, be friendly and, and don't be afraid to stop and say hi and all that good nonsense. And that's, I mean, some of that's all stuff that, you know, I've, I've kind of lived by anyways. Urgh, thing's tight. Hey, that thing tightened up good. No, oh, but it, I don't think that's even the right bolt. I'd look here. Dang it. Not sure I'm moving the right stuff. Oh, there I am. It's in the back. In the back of the power steering pump. But uh, I guess in like my projects and such, I haven't had to cut back on that at all because, you know, my neighbors don't really seem to mind. And, and so far, I mean, I'm, I'm keeping it pretty clean, making sure that, you know, everybody's happy with, with me here. You know, I don't want to be ruffling any feathers or anything like that. You know, ticking people off. So I've tried to keep it quiet and keep it decent and clean. And you know, I'm keeping all my vehicles like we've talked about out of the fills. And that way, I don't have to have the yard cluttered up. But even if I got a couple out, nobody seems to care. Like I say, there's there's a lot of things that I really miss and probably never will stop missing. But all the same, you know, I'm more and more convinced that it was a good move, even if it did have to be into town. And I tell you, I am absolutely loving this shop, this garage, whatever you want to call it. I'll call it a shop because we don't really park anything garage other than stuff we're working on. And plus it's fun to be able to make the videos again. I mean that was not by any means a determining factor but you know it was something that was thought about but moreover I mean it, like I say that, that was just not a determining factor but it was just another thing that was added on to the list of things that I couldn't do that I enjoyed doing and I really wanted to be able to keep doing and and wasn't allowed to in in the long run so I mean did it did it 
uh, make a decision one way or the other? Absolutely not. But did it, uh, was it a thing? Yes, absolutely. It was a, it was an issue for me. I, uh, you know, it just was. We'll just leave it at that. I should have known better than to try that sealant. You know, it seems like every time I try that sealant, it never works for me. I mean, there's some instances where, yeah, I'll use it, you know, but for the most part, no, I don't. About the only time where I'll actually use it, really use it, is if uh, if I've got like a small pinhole in a in a uh, in a uh, uh, heater core, and it seems to work pretty good on that but it doesn't hold up forever and you live with the constant knowledge that you know someday you're gonna have to replace that okay YouTube so as it turns out in order to get the water pump off I'm gonna take this silly power steering pump off and I'm discovering how to do that because there's a whole slew of bolts that have to be undone and two of these were not two of the ones that needed to be undone to do it, so now I have to tighten them back up. Because they kind of hold this whole this whole shebang together. Oh shnikes. Might actually have to remove. You gotta be kidding me. Might actually have to remove the fuel pump in order to do this. Because it's in the way of me getting the power steering pump off. Yeah, I might actually have to. Well, that's a silly bugger. You'd think they'd make it a little bit more user friendly than that. I guess they didn't think they needed to. Do this bottom bolt that I put in, and now power steering pump unit come right off just like that. Does what it's told. What a pain! What a dirty, rotten pain in my bum. Well, for all of you who have aspirations to be AMC Jeep mechanics, it turns out that on the 360, in order to get off the water pump, you also have to remove the AC pump. So you have to remove, to get the water pump changed, you have to remove the fuel pump, the power steering pump, the AC pump, and dang near unbolt the alternator. By this point in time, I did not turn on the camera because I was swearing and making large growling noises and mumbling incoherently to myself. But um, anyways, so we got the water pump off. Uh, send Kayla uptown tomorrow while I'm at work and she can go pick up a new water pump. And uh, yeah, and tomorrow we can get her back together and hopefully get it back on the road again. So. Uh, since we tried to drive it today and it was still pouring and a freeze out, but uh, anyways, uh, yeah, so I guess that's as much as we can get done for the day, so finish it up tomorrow. Okay, YouTube, two days after the fact, we have a shiny new water pump sitting here and a Jeep that's all tore apart, so I think you guys can pretty well figure out where this is all going, so um, we're going to go ahead and, uh, well, get back to putting this water pump on. And maybe we can take this thing for a spin. Well, I only got three minutes and some odd seconds, 35 seconds left, so here's the moment of truth. 
Um, ran out of some battery juice there for a minute, and that's why you kind of lost most of <laughs> what I had going on. But, I mean, it's just basically the same as taking it apart. Uh, power steering pump, fuel pump, power steering pump comes off after the fuel pump comes loose. Um, AC compressor and fan, obviously, and belts and all that nonsense. So, here we go. We're going to try and fire it up and see what happens here. one minute and 40 seconds left on the camera I'll show you the uh, good news that is that there's no leaks we did run out of coolant however um, in the shop not in the Jeep but I had to do a little bit of recycling maybe I'll show you guys how to do that one of these days but uh, so now I just got to put a little air we'll make sure all the tires are up to snuff as far as air pressure because that one's looking a little low and uh, actually after that I think this Jeep will be done so we'll get our first drive. Okay, so now that we have a camera that's not running out of time, so, do you like it? No. No? Why not? Because it's a floater and it's slow. It's floater and it's slow? Yes. Well, it's not a police issue frickin' Jeep. I mean, that's for sure, but it's kind of a nice Jeep. Does it drive decent? Yeah. Yeah? And the brakes feel good? Mm-hmm. Good? Mm -hmm. Good. And it's running all right? Mm-hmm. The temperature come up high or stay low? It'll stay right in the middle. Heater works good? Excellent. That means that we have our first success story out of the shop. So, YouTubes, there you have it. Done with this project, on to the next.